this was my second day in Chiang Mai and I was extremely excited to go to an elephant sanctuary. The reason I was excited to go to an elephant sanctuary is because about 15 years ago or 20 years ago, I did go to Chiang Mai before and I did ride an elephant. I'm ashamed to say it. And when I did that, I realized that the elephants weren't treated so nicely. So I always said to myself, when I go back, I'm never riding an elephant again. And that if I ever see the elephants, I will go to like an elephant sanctuary where they've saved them. Now, saying that, the elephant sanctuary we went to, the elephants did seem very well treated, but you can never be certain whichever one you go to. The best you can do is just look up uh, and review it in detail and the good thing about this time is we had a Thai friend with us so he helped us review it and he picked this one so it did seem that they were uh, much nicer treated than previously when I went to Thailand and I didn't know no better so I was thoroughly excited for that so that was the big thing what I was looking forward to on day two around all the other stuff that we did so let's get into it and show you what it's like in Chiang Mai. Enjoy! Today we're on a trip and I'm going to an elephant sanctuary. Uh, right now we stopped at a service station and uh, we just stopped for 15 minutes so I'm going to have to hurry up. I just want to let you know what I'm up to. I'm going to go back to the little truck thing. When we got into the elephant sanctuary we had to change into these local like thai traditional clothes so that's what we're doing here now after changing into my traditional clothes this cat came over and wanted to be my friend happy days <laughs> then when we got our traditional clothes on we got a bit of a lowdown on the do's and don'ts a bit of the rules and uh, some information about this elephant sanctuary in particular and also uh, just a bit of background about elephants in general. <laughs> we also got introduced to Mr. One, Mr. Two and Mr. Three as the Thai guys humorously introduced themselves. They then showed us how to safely feed the elephant. We had to hold our arm in the air and say bon bon. And then the elephant would open its huge mouth, which was a little bit uh, scary. Bon bon. Bon bon. No. Don't want bon he just wants it now. Bon 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 bon. That's it, bro. There we go. One. Bon. I told you, I told you, I want. This one, this one. You see it? What? Come on. Yeah. This one, this one gives them fiber. Yeah, it's a, it's a leg of fiber, and you can eat a lot of grass. 200, 300, you can on the way. <coughs> So we're at the animal, the elephant sanctuary now, and the elephants are eating. There he is. They're really friendly. Their skin is so rough, it's like really tough. It's been good so far, it's been great. Good day out, good day trip. So the guy said these elephants are Asian elephants and they're different African elephants. Only the males have the tusks. 
the females don't have the, tus the tusks or he said they have tiny little ones but you can't really see them this elephant here is pregnant they've got the lump on the side there look it says it takes over a year to have a baby the elephants really eat loads <laughs> The skin is so tough. They don't mind you stroking them here, like. Flap the ears to cool down. Don't know if you can see, but they're so hairy as well. Oh, avoid his ass. Watch his tail. Massive poop all over. Oh, get it in you, son. How's it done since we got here is eat. Well, the phone is not a banana, sunshine. This elephant closest to me here. It took its grass and ran away, threw it over there, and now it's trying to keep it for itself. And this bigger elephant's tried to come and get some. The size of that man, it's huge, him. So they're getting more grass, these big lads. So this elephant, he's took the... He took the new grass for himself. Now they're going to have it. <laughs> now they're having a bit of a bony rubble. Got the grass. Wow. Galloping mustard chip, okay? This is the food on our trip to see the elephants. Watermelon. That's the end of the tour, the elephant sanctuary. It's called Elephant Jungle Sanctuary, and we came to camp number three, and the tour has been brilliant, so I really enjoyed it. It's much better than I expected, uh, and now we're off. I'm in Chiang Mai Old Town and Chiang Mai Old Town is famous for having loads of temples and the temples are quite different to back home in Taiwan. The Thai temples look really extravagant so I'm going to go around the Old Town a little bit and have a look at some of those so enjoy. I thought these statues were real but they're not real. 
had to be quick here because you're supposed to sit down. I love Kai temples, the design is so creative and elegant. This is the name of the main temple in this complex and it's called Wat Pra Singh Bora Maharaha. I had to read that. So this is the main temple behind me here. I'm gonna go inside now, take some pictures and have a look around and uh, video inside, but I'm probably not going to speak because people are actually praying inside and I don't want to be obnoxious and uh, disrupt their praying and that. It's still a place of worship after all, even though it's absolutely fantastic. I'm obviously right this one behind me that I said the name of before I'm not going to try and say it again this one is obviously the main Buddha in this temple complex because they've got the big gold Buddha inside so I, I pray to that this is interesting here they've got a sign it says it's wrong to use the Buddha as a tattoo decoration and you're not supposed to go in in shorts or show your arms and that with a vest or anything like that if you're a woman but they seem pretty lax about it compared to last time I was here this building I don't know what it's for it's got quite a different design to the others. Can't go in it. Something on the top of there. There's a little sign down by my feet. I just checked it and this is a library hall. This is the other side of the library hall. The sun's too bright. All right, we're gonna go to another temple now. We're finished at this one. Okay, the next temple I come to, this is apparently the last one we're going to. It's called Wat. Wat Chi Di Hulang. I'll just show you the name. That's the name there. Wat Chi Di Luang There's the Chinese and the Thai This uh, temple building behind me is called Pillar Vihara Pillar Vihara and only men are allowed inside because women have periods that's what it says on the sign I'm not lying to you If you don't believe me there look women are prohibited to enter because they menstruate men only There's a bird living in one of these and it keeps flying 
between and go inside. This pillar, Vihara, was amazing. It's just a shame me missus can't see it. Because it has men only, I think they should just let her in. What difference is it going to make? But if that's their culture, that's their culture, fair enough. Let them crack on with it. But that was amazing in there, like. We have a donation for buying a coffin. If you want to buy, want to donate for someone's coffin, yep. you do it here. And they've got a coffin on display. There's your box. This is a tomb where they put people and save their uh, bodies. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain what it is very well because my Thai friend, he just translated the sign. There's no English on the sign on this building. It's obviously really important heritage because it's protected and you can't go in this one. So I guess I have to end the look at temples there. My friends want to go and have afternoon tea. everyone right now we've come to a place that's really trendy in Chiang Mai called Nimam Road but right now we're at a place called Wan Nim Nim Nan uh, don't know if I'm saying that right but I hope I am uh, I'm gonna have a look around here like I say this is a big trendy area in Chiang Mai so let's see what it has to offer let's get into it in this one Nimam Nimam area they have a little food court area here with all the stands outside and everything look at these bad boys look at that that's some kind of this is mostly Japanese food in here all these stands they're mostly Japanese food this lassie selling booze look Chiang Mai craft beer. How much is the craft beer? 150 baht. That looks alright if I was still drinking, like, doesn't it? Is it pork? It, it's pork, right? Looks like shower roll. So I've had a walk around this market. It's mostly Japanese food, but there's some Chinese food there too. Uh, I'm not here for Chinese food or Japanese food. What I want to eat here is mostly Thai food, if possible, depending on what friends and missus want to eat. So no Japanese or Chinese food for me today or any of the trip. Till I go home. Now I'm walking on the proper Nimnam Road and this place is trendy central when it comes to Chiang Mai. I don't need anyone to tell me it's trendy central. You can just see it by what it's like here. It is the epitome of cool. People, people are taking photos here because it looks like Japan just a derelict building but everyone seems everyone's obsessed with Japan in Thailand they love it okay it turns out that it's not just that little shop that looks like that derelict building 
This looks like Japan. The street signs look like Japan. They've made this whole area to look like Japan. There's even a cute little ice cream shop around the corner. Let's give you a look. This ice cream shop around here looks very Japanese. It's like little Japan here. Look at that. Isn't that very Japanese? This is a subway. It goes over here. And they made this subway to look like Japan. This looks like the Japanese trains, but it ju it's just to let you cross the road. Insane, man. Am I in Thailand or am I still in Japan? That is the question. So here's a medical cannabis cafe. This is legal now in Thailand. Coffee, food, beer, and weed. More cannabis. I think we're on the wrong side of the road. There's not much on this side, so we're gonna find a way to try and get across this road now. I'm having a bit of a mare trying to get across this road. As busy as anything and there's no traffic lights across them. We haven't came across one. So we're just gonna give it a bit of this and just go. In a lot of Asian cities, it feels like a great success when you've got across the road. It sounds crazy, but it's really true. Right, so we're gonna leave this Niman Road because I looked on Google Maps and all the trendy shops and coffee shops and that, they're closed because today is a holder. That's why I couldn't find them, so we're gonna leave here. So I hope you like the video. All right.